Jaron, this stuff is not going to take itself into the backyard. No. What are we doing? Vlogging. Let's go! What's going on guys? It's Ralph with Pondscapes and it's time for yet another one. We are going to be doing a turtle pond with an intake bay on this one as soon as we get this mess out of the driveway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our canvas for this project. What we have is a eight foot by 10 foot pond. It's gonna be about 18 inches deep with an intake bay. Now this pond is for some very special turtles and tortoises which are hanging out in their dwellings right now. And uh, they're gonna get a bigger source of water right here. This is a homeowner's uh, pondless waterfall, which is fantastic. He did a great job on this guy. So uh, basically they love their tortoises and turtles. So they wanna create a bigger environment for them. So that's what we're doing over here. Right now, what we've got going on is, uh, you've seen this before, this is our moisture barrier. So instead of building a uh, boulder retaining wall, the homeowner has a lot of these stones available. So we're gonna uh, stack them up and put them up against the wall. And all of this excavation is going to be flipped over and create a berm in this area. And uh, we're gonna use uh, this piece of pipe to uh, throw in the side of this berm at some point just to become a shelter like this. But we're gonna do our little spin on it. We're going to uh, camouflage it with some boulders in the opening, uh, much like what we do on a fish cave. And then what we wanna do is we wanna back it up with some rock work because we know these tortoises uh, like to burrow and dig. So it's gotta be pointed that way. We don't want them uh, going towards the pond with any kind of digging. And we're gonna have to do some type of uh, rock retention uh, protection over here before entering into the pond. All right, hurdles. Hurdle number one, we've overcome. We got our excavator back here, but that was no easy feat because it is a long, narrow path right through that gate. So that was a sharp turn that had to be made right here. We got it over. So hurdle number one, overcome. Now what we've got is a digging situation uh, that we are going to run into. We've got plumbing. This marks uh, a trench line where there's uh, uh, up to three pipes going right through our pond. So those have to be rerouted. So they're gonna go trace around our intake, come back around and connect and continue because there's a garden over there that needs its water supply. And then one of these pipes is actually going to go to uh, supply water to our float valve for the water feature itself. Okay, things are looking good. We, uh, we exposed the plumbing that was going on uh, down here. So right here, you can see we've got uh, the pipe capped off uh, that we need to reconnect to. So that's this guy over here. We're gonna cut this back over here and uh, skirt it right behind uh, the intake and this enclosure area, bring it through. We'll trench this and 90 it over and connect. And then our uh, ball valve for water supply is right in here. So that's going to come over, jump inside this trench and share uh, that line. And uh, then we've got all of the plumbing issues addressed. Now it's time to get to digging. to be so much warmer than it is right now. Ah, 36 degrees, I am not happy. 
I don't have much to cry about. It's not snowing though. Okay, I went and picked up a load of boulders. The, the guys got this excavation complete and now we are just setting our level for the aqua blocks to go into that intake area. So we're kind of figuring out uh, what our water depth uh, we want to deal with. Normally we'll have anywhere from 9 to 11 inches of water on top of the aqua block in the intake bay. But for the nature of this project, it's going to be more for uh, turtles and uh, small tortoises. So I think we're going to make that intake bay a little more shallow. So we have an easy slope into that area and out for those guys to come in and out of. And there we are, Blake is doing the finishing touches on getting, there's a little bit of a high spot right there, but the uh, intake bay is mocked up. So we are gonna go over is a little bit more in-depth discussion of an intake bay and how we're gonna make this work. So you can see we've got just an open area. So if this was turned on, everything was rocked out. We're gonna have water drawing right into the face of these aqua blocks. We don't want that. So we're gonna cut a piece of scrap liner when we're rocking this in and we'll tuck it under this uh, line of aqua blocks and we'll fold it over and overlap it a few inches on the top. That way the face is all sealed up and then we'll do our rock work and we'll foam in nice and tight on the edges. That way we don't have water drawing down below. We want as much surface skimming as possible. Then we'll have a rock situated here, a rock situated here. We'll have that open channel in the center, uh, just like building a waterfall, but in reverse, instead of that water coming over and out, we're drawing it in and it'll come in. Water goes down through the grid of aqua blocks into that pump vault and circulates right over to that water pump. All right, we've got some hurdles in front of us with uh, this project in the way of access. We can't get our bobcat down to the end of the uh, aisle here and make that turn. It's just too sharp. So the benefit of where, what we have to deal with is the drop location. Blake, how happy does that make you? So happy. So happy. So this Diablo, this is our big heavy rock cart. We call it the Diablo because it does work you. So we're gonna dump right here. We don't have anything, any obstructions in front of us to uh, worry about. So we'll have a big pile of rocks in two seconds. Here we go. Monday morning, we've got more rocks and we've got a pond that needs the rocks, right? Okay. All right guys, so what we're going to do now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this gap up, work our way up to the intake bay, kind of figure out what we're gonna do in here to close this off. And then we get to do our favorite part and that's building that waterfall. So one of the things that uh, we talked about with the homeowner first thing this morning is uh, this sonotube. He had the pergola guy come by and we still have the other section of sonotube right back there so what we're going to do after that waterfall is built is we're going to put that other section in the ground somewhere over there so they have the foundations ready to go they fill those with concrete and then they'll just figure out what they're going to do to end it out in this section so this is going to be totally shaded which is going to be awesome and i love having these pergolas overhang our water features it just adds it's a real intimate look. All right, 
right guys today is go day we have to be done with this pond today so what we've got going on jaron is installing the lights we only have two lights in this pond we don't want it glowing too much uh so got a uh, three watt spotlight going in right there and then another one going in right over here and uh, what blake is doing is decorating the bottom of the pond a lot of people don't really care about this. I just, I like it. Blake, how do you feel about this? I like it. I think it looks nice. There you go. That's why we do it. <laughs> so we're doing uh, some uh, some cobble washouts. I just like that look of uh, breaking up the, you know, just the uh, consistency of the same gravel on the bottom. So we'll do these washouts uh, and in certain areas. And right over there, we're gonna do that type of washout and beach type thing. Um, and right over here, I am working on doing the edging. Uh, and then we've got to hook up our plumbing. We've got to edge all the way around. And we still have to uh, finish out that waterfall. So what has to happen up here this morning, we've got our biofalls right here. We've just got to make our mechanical connection and a couple rocks right there, foam all this up. So not a crazy amount to do, but we got to stop talking about it and be about it, right, fellas? That's right, Bob. All right, waterfall is just about done. Jaron just got done with the cobble beach entry. Just uh, throwing some of those uh, rocks in there to lock in the uh, bigger pieces. And uh, Blake and I are working on this uh, tortoise enclosure. So right over here, uh, he had uh, one set up and uh, one of the turtles uh, just kind of goes in there at nighttime, gets under those leaves. So we wanted to uh, incorporate that into this area. Now what we want to do is make sure we do two things, protect those guys and keep them from going uh, digging back in deeper. So we've got a piece of heavy rock pad in there backed up with a piece of flow cell. So that flow cell, that'll help prevent that dirt from uh, blowing back in and keep a nice big space for that enclosure. Is that, is that about right? That's right, boss. It's a turtle enclosure. 